You're the man behind Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. I, I, I like the concept. I mean, you're taking fairy tales, which are already gangster, and making them even more gangster. Yeah. No, I mean, fairy tales are twisted and dark. A lot of people forget that, but the grim fairy tales are super dark stuff and gory stuff and horrifying, actually. Yeah. No, because they, they were designed to scare people straight. Yeah. Like, basically. look, if you do this, this will happen, exactly. and the results will not be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, and, and it's, I, I grew up with Hansel and Gretel at the fairy tale. I loved it, but it's it's, it's gruesome stuff. And I mean, the, I, I had it on a cassette tape, and the burning witch fighting for her life inside the oven. It's it's pretty pretty intense stuff. No, no, it, it's totally intense stuff. So, what was the fun part for you on this project? Like, what, what did you get the biggest thrill? Uh, what, what created that day where you like were ready to go to work because you knew you were about to do some really fun stuff? What? Well, uh, I, I would say then the, the 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 most fun and the most the biggest challenge was to shoot the big witches Sabbath at the end, okay. where we have you know dozens and dozens of different witches <laughs> and, and trying to come up with like, a different look and yeah everything. there were witches everywhere yeah I, yeah I lost count yeah <laughs> and, and trying to you know <laughs> okay. do the Lots design of witches. <laughs> yeah and we have a troll and we have kids and we have just the big climax of the movie and I'm a big fan of trying to do things practically so uh, you know not to rely on CGI uh, when, okay. when we don't have to so. That means there's more work trying to get in the camera, but I think it's worth it in the end. But just having all those witches, I mean, because it's such a big process of signing them, and you go from the board and do the costume tests and the makeup tests, and finally they're there, 50, 60 witches, and Hansel and Gretel, and it's just a, it was just a sight to behold, and it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I like the action in this movie. I mean, you, you did a terrific job. Like, what sort of director who's known for action do you sort of look up to or admire? Well, I mean, obviously, I'm 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 a huge fan of Peter Jackson and Sam Raimi, the the, the early stuff. Okay. Uh, I grew up loving. But when it comes to action, I I always look to actually Steven Spielberg in the Indiana Jones movies, where everything you see, everything was going on. I, I I'm not a, there's a lot of action these days where you kind of struggle to get what's going on on the screen, and I and I just think he's the master of shooting action in a in a fun, but also you can actually see. What's happening? So. Yeah, no, because he had a very like simplistic style that totally just sucked you into the moment, and everything was right there. There was no gimmicks, yeah. no tricks. It was just like, oh, okay, something's about to happen, and it's gonna be really cool. Yeah, and we, we try to do that, and and, and and we had a great stunt team and, and fight choreographers, and and but again, it's it's trying to to because you have a witches, you have trolls, and then for me, it's just then you ha it's important that the action feels real and it feels like every punch it stings and every you know nice that's nice to, to, I, like, to ground I like the philosophy I'm, I'm glad that's what you're trying to capture because it just for some reason it just seems like it just makes it a bigger thrill yeah okay now cool. if you had to cite your all-time favorite fairy tale from back in the day when you were a kid which one would it be and why well it, it, it was Hans and Gretel okay. I'm, I'm not just you know uh, I, I had it on cassette tape and I listened to it to death uh, on my bed on the, on the old cassette player and listening to the you know the the old classical tale and they had voices and they reenacted everything as well so that's why it stuck so long in my head with the dying screaming witch clawing on her nails inside the oven <laughs> right. so so that was my favorite fairy tale for sure alright well fantastic yeah. job well done oh, thanks, thanks a lot much. my friend what are the, your friends and family how have they reacted to you becoming you know this, this star you, have you seen your friends treat you differently or your family treat you any differently um I haven't seen them since like the nomination but um, before then, they would just be like, oh, you came back, huh? You came back, you left me, huh? Didn't bring me any... So it's just like, it's like that, but I'm not...